Welcome back this week. This is season five, episode four. I'm Renzo Rosato. And I'm Gaston Rosato. And we have a special car for you today, like usual on this channel. That's right, this is the Mercedes-Benz 500 SEC. <laughs> ever custom built by coach builder Sabaro. That's right. This car embodies a lifestyle. It's the epitome of the 80s. That's right. It has an incredible history, this particular car, which we're going to talk about. So you have to stay tuned. In the meantime, hit that subscribe button for us. Driving around the doors open like this, this is like, this is like, this is like, look at me. This car hasn't been on the road for this long in a very, very long time. She's comfortable. She makes you feel very, uh, I don't know how to. Like Freeze I always say, it. a time machine. Yeah, it definitely puts you in a in a good uh, good good mood. Um, but I think we should head back to the barn. Let's do a walk around. Let's go back to the barn and tell the story of this car because yeah. if this car could tell stories, oh, it would be pretty fascinating. Now that we're done with our uh, low budget rap video, <laughs> let's give a walk around on this car because this car does have a really cool story. But before that, let's talk about you know where this car came from. Right, so this car, the 500 SEC would leave the factory brand new and go straight to Sabaro headquarters in Switzerland right. where these cars were custom coach worked, obviously. You can see the yeah. work all across the entire thing. Yes. They came in two different configurations, a 500 SEC like we have here, one of 14, and they also had a 500, they called it the 1000, the SEC okay. 1000, because it was double the car. And the first one was called the Shaheen. With the 6.9 liter, right? 6.9 right. liter. But the first company that set off really the trend and kind of the benchmark for the Gullwing SEC was Styling Garage, SGS. So these cars were taken brand new from the factory to the coach builder. In this case, Franco Sabraro, who's the coach builder for this car. An Italian designer, like you mentioned, based out of Switzerland. Look at this bodywork. Let's talk about this because this is incredible. Tons of bodywork. The front fenders are elongated. The, the hood, is, hood also. is also elongated. Awesome grill. You know, very distinctive. Three groove. I love that. Alongside the rockers that extends through the rear bumper. Yes. Beautiful streamlined wheels. Everything is custom. This is the top, top, top. I mean, you need a big dough in order to buy this car <laughs> brand new. Recaro bucket seats with tons of features of, as far as adjusting is concerned. Double deck dash. No, I mean, look at the equalizer, all the sound system on the car. It is absolutely phenomenal. Like I mentioned, it's like you're sitting in a, in a plane almost. When you have the doors open, you have the switches on top, absolutely. the gauges on top. and the Now, what makes this car so unique? We have the documentation. The car was imported brand new from Europe where when they, were, they finished building the car. Right to Colombia in South America. Now imagine having this car in Colombia. In the 80s. In the 80s, you had to be a certain kind of individual. We'll I'm just sure. leave it at that. Yeah. <laughs> the car was inherited from the first owner, so it was a one family owned car, where we got word of it. We had the car inspected with some contacts that we have down there. Right. It turned out to be legit. The car's still sitting on the original tires. I mean, they had it basically abandoned there. 
It was full of cobwebs. In the same exact condition in which you see it now, all we did was detail the car. Right. So we, we had to have it, okay? And we, we purchased the car, we shipped it over here, and it's gotta be the only one in the US available today. In fact, it's not even listed on our website. So yeah. if you are interested in a car like this, you kind of have first dibs if you're watching this video. That's right. You can contact us for, for more information. Is there anything else like this, another Subaru maybe for sale in the country at the moment? We haven't seen any at the moment for sale. So it's really hard to price something like this. There's people that only collect this genre of car, especially in today that the 80s market is just skyrocketing. It's, it's growing, yeah. Yeah, so this is this is definitely a car for that type of collection. And seeing it in a person is even more incredible. It's, it's just- The a, car is stunning, it really is. It really is stunning. And I'm sure you notice us opening and closing these doors. These things are not light. Yeah, they're heavy. They're heavy doors. These are, this is good material. I'm surprised those struts still, yeah, still hold up still the door. Hold. All right, guys, we hope you enjoyed this week's video. You know, this channel really does bring some value as far as these unique cars that you don't see very often. So we want to thank you for watching. That's right, guys. Make sure to hit that subscribe button for us as we're here every week to bring you some cool content and some cool cars. Until next week, I'm Renzo Rosato. And I'm Gaston Rosato. Peace out. Later.